Hi everyone, we are Team Earthlings and our and our app is called I Am Here. Our team consists of Cody, myself, Edmund, Fauzia, and Ryan. We will each provide a brief introduction starting with Cody. Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Cody Zheng. I had both academic and industrial experience before joining the SAPQ. I'm a continuous learner and a problem solver with great passion for learning new things and solving business problems. In the past six months, I enjoyed coding and had a lot of aha moments. What I learned through this program gave me confidence to pivot into a tech industry. Edmund? Thank you, Cody. I'm Edmund and I come from a sales and marketing background. I have learned so much in the past six months. The essential skills and programming skills taught have prepared me well for a career in tech. My biggest takeaway is an appreciation for project-based learning and the practice of learning by doing. I have been transformed into a fearless learner and I look forward to leveraging these skills together with my marketing expertise in the tech industry. Fauzia? Hi, I'm Fauzia Hassan. Before coming into Inception U, I was a GIS specialist. Over the past six months, I have learned to test my skills and confidence to build a professional application using the knowledge gained in this project-based program. And now I can call myself a full stack developer. Ryan? Hello, everyone. My name is Ryan Carruth and I have a GIS background as well. I am a detail-oriented developer, always curious for learning new things. I like to solve business problems that can contribute to a better world. Over the past six months, I've realized how stepping out of your comfort zone helps with self-growth and discovery. I also gained a better understanding for all the steps required to create a successful full-stack application. Now I will pass it over to Edmund to discuss the app. Thank you, Ryan. Um, just to provide a, a, a brief background, over the years, many newcomers have arrived in Canada and even more in recent days. Unfortunately, I, and sorry, fortunately, there has also been a corresponding increase in the number of volunteers willing to help. However, feedback from both newcomers and volunteers about their experience has not always been positive. Here are the pain points uh, experienced by newcomers. Newcomers need help the moment they arrive. They need urgent help related to accommodation, transportation, and translation. Unfortunately, settlement programs just don't address these immediate needs. Next slide. And uh, pain points for volunteers. Likewise, uh, volunteers just wanna help. They just wanna reach out and directly offer their time and resources to the newcomers, but they don't have an avenue to do that. Uh, it is a point of frustration and deterrent for many who desire to help. Next slide. Uh, our solution, the I Am Here app. It is a secure platform that connects volunteers and newcomers so that urgent needs can be addressed immediately, simultaneously fostering a strong sense of community and belonging for all. Volunteers are now able to post their availability to help with accommodation, transportation and translation and newcomers search the categories based on their needs and can contact volunteers directly via chat or email. There's even an education resource for newcomers. I will now pass over to Cody to talk about the uh, technologies used. Cody? Thanks, Edmund. Yes, we used a variety of technologies to create our application. The app was built on main Merge Stack, React, React Bootstrap, and Material App were used for building user interface components. The express framework with the node was used for developing backend. Also, Zero was successfully integrated into our app to provide secure authentication and authorization services. Mongo Atlas is our database and Socket.io is used to create the chat function. GitHub and VS Code were used for version control. And for our project planning, we task assignment and a combination. We use Trello and Zoom and Discord for our collaboration tools. Okay, now it's product demo time, connecting newcomers with volunteer. Well, thank you, Cody. Uh, we will now show you how the app is able to serve both newcomers and volunteers. To start, let me introduce you to our volunteer, Cassie, who had signed up previously and is now logging into her account. So she keys in her details, adds her password, 
Once successfully logged, she is directed to the volunteer page. In this page, volunteers will find three categories to offer help. They can offer help with accommodation, transportation, and translation. Cassie would like to offer her accommodation to a newcomer, so she clicks on the help with accommodation and is directed to an accommodation availability form. She easily fills out the details of the accommodation that she would like to offer, like so, and clicks on create list, and you can immediately see the list being posted. Newcomers will now be able to find her posting, which we will show you in a little while. Uh, she is also able to remove previous listings by simply clicking the delete button. All right. Next, Casey returns to the volunteer page and she would like to offer a right to volunteers. And Cody will tell you more about this. Cody. Thanks, Edwin. Casey knows when it comes to transportation, newcomers face a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Casey has a vehicle and uh, he would like to provide transportation services when she's available. So just uh, click uh, provide a transportation serv service button. Okay, now Cassie will be able to submit a, a service availability form. At the same time, she will be able to check uh, the time slot uh, posted previously. Okay, this way can uh, uh, Cassie will be, uh, will be available. So Cassie just uh, pick up the time. And uh, Cassie, Cassie can speak English and Ukrainian, and there's a car seat in her car. The maximum number of a passenger will be two. So Cassie just uh, click the submit button. A new time slot will add to this uh, list automatically. And if Cassie want to delete uh, one of our item, just uh, check this button and uh, click delete. Okay. And all time slot posted by Cassie can be viewed by newcomers, and uh, we will demonstrate them later. Now let's go back to volunteer main page and Cassie can also provide the translation services. Okay. Thank you. A Cassie who also speaks several languages would like to be able to post her availability. She would be able to click this help to translate link where she will be able to fill this volunteer translation form and post her availability to assist with the translation services for a newcomer. This could include and not limited to accompanying newcomers to appointments to translate. When she fills out those and submits this form, this posting will show up on her calendar. As shown here in blue, the, book, the blue slots are not yet booked and these red ones means that they're booked with a newcomer. Her postings will instantly be available to a registered newcomers to search, find and book. Now I'll pass this to Ryan to show all the future services that's available to a newcomer and how a registered newcomer connects with the volunteer. Ryan. Awesome. Thanks, Fauzia. Yeah, so now we will log in as Bobby, who is a newcomer. He just landed in Canada and searching for um, help to assist in adjusting to Canadian living. So we'll just enter Bobby's details right here and press login. And then once Bobby is logged in, he is brought to this beautiful newcomer page. He sees that the services offered are transportation, accommodation, translation, and education. If you scroll down even more, there's a featured volunteers list that shows a couple volunteers with some information about that volunteer. If you so choose, you can press the contact me button and that will take you directly to the chat. But for right now, I will pass it over to Edmund to discuss accommodation services. Thank you, Ryan. Um, Bobby wants to look for a place to stay, so he goes to the accommodation and clicks on Get Assistant. He is shown a complete listing of avail all available uh, accommodations. To help narrow things down, he can search by number of rooms or by maximum number of uh, tenants in, or by location. He would like to live in the north area, so he clicks on the north and searches. And he is shown a listing of all the accommodations available in the north. And he can proceed to contact uh, our volunteer either by email or by chat. And Bobby goes back to the newcomers page and he will now uh, try to help uh, get translation services. So I'll let Fauzia talk about this. Fauzia. Thank you. Bobby, who's 
native language is Ukrainian, needs assistance with translation services, and would like to find a volunteer who can help. You can click on the Get Assistance from a Volunteer link to find available translator on a specific date and language. Once the booking is uh, taken and uh, once he finds a booking and um, books it, he'll be able to see this on his calendar. Both the newcomers and volunteers can view these commitments and appointments with each other on their own individualized calendar. This feature will connect newcomers and volunteer, and this feature is available to all registered users. Back to Cody to demonstrate our transportation services for newcomers. Cody? Thanks, Fosia. Yeah, Bobby needs transportation services. So just like click on the get assistance button. Now Bobby will be able to see all availabilities posted by volunteer. He can check the date, time, language, accessories, and also the information of a volunteer. Okay, different volunteers. Uh, also, Bobby can search, narrow down the search by date and time or search by language. Uh, Bobby want to find a volunteer who can speak English and Ukrainian. So just check the box and uh, click a search button. Oh, Bobby will be able to see all availabilities posted by volunteers who can speak English and Ukrainian. Um, Bobby feels this time spot is, uh, is good. So just to check the volunteer's information. Okay, here's the information for volunteer, Cassie. And uh, the email address is, is here and also the brief introduction of Cassie. So Bobby can contact Cassie by using the email or by using this uh, chat function, run. Awesome, thanks, thanks Cody. Yeah, so once we click on the chat with me button, we are brought to the chat page where on the left, we see all the volunteers Bobby has connected with. We would like to chat with Casey. So let's click on her name to engage the chat. Now, Casey is already in conversation with Bobby. So Bobby will just confirm with Cassie that uh, she indeed has a car seat. So we'll hit send on that message. And once Casey logs back into her account, she'll be able to see this message and reply. And now coming back to the newcomer's homepage, Bobby sees some education services. When he clicks on this, some resources pop up that will help him with getting the proper education that he requires. All right, so to summarize our app, volunteers are able to post availability for offering assistance with accommodation, transportation, and translation. Newcomers are able to then see those posted services and can search by specific criteria. All right, thank you very much for watching our demo. Now I will discuss some key learnings and takeaways. So, for some key learnings um, through this project, we learned and utilized software de development technologies. Um, adopting agile methodology and scrum meetings really helped us stay organized and on task. Stepping out of your comfort zone and starting a project uh, before you're ready helps with self growth and discovery and previous experience and expertise are very beneficial for us pivoting into tech. Now I'll pass it to Fauzia to discuss our wins and challenges. Thank you, Ryan. Some of our wins were able to develop a fully functional application within a limited time. We implemented a third-party authentication and authorization platform to our app. We created a chat function with Socket.io to connect newcomers with a volunteer. We created a filter, booking, and calendar feature to our app. We also successfully overcame challenges through discussion, compromises, and patience. Some of our challenges that we've learned from were we explored a new learning in technologies within a limited time and then lack of experience estimating time required to implement a feature. Now I'll pass it to Edmund to discuss what's next for our app. Oh, yeah. So what's next for our app? We plan to deploy as a web application to be fully functional across all mobile platforms and devices to have the ability to dynamically translate all pages in multiple languages to enhance our existing chat with video conferencing, uh, to have a marketplace for volunteers to offer goods and services, and to include a geolocation feature. Uh, we've come to the end of the demo. Uh, we would like to take this opportunity to thank our audience for coming for our demo, and a special thank you to the entire team at Inception U for caring about us and wanting us to succeed. And a big thank you to Eva Lab, our Scrum Master, Scrum Master for her encouragement and believing in us. Thank you.